Welcome everybody to the Meadowlands, the home of the 0-16 Giants, the worst team in the National Football League. All right, that's not really true, but that's what they seem to believe inside, the way they're talking. They think, as usual, the entire world is against them. Nobody ever picks them to win. In fact, even Tom Coughlin said today, nobody gives us a chance to win this game in San Francisco. Then he paused and said, we'll see. And that's the attitude they're going to take on their long flight out to the West Coast. They get ready to play the 49ers, a rematch of the NFC Championship game. They are six-point underdogs, and as far as they're concerned, it might be 60. Well, the Giants, of course, played two great games against the 49ers last year, lost by the length of a fingernail in the regular season game that, of course, won the dramatic NFC Championship on an overtime field goal. How do they win this game? Well, here's three keys to how this pathetic team can actually beat those powerful, overwhelming 49ers. The number one key, keep Eli Manning upright. I think we all now know by now that he is the key to this offense, a terrific player who can make a lot of things happen no matter who his starting receivers might be. But he can't take the beating that he took in that NFC Championship game when the 49ers hit him 12 times and sacked him six times. It was an incredible performance, but you can't count on him to keep getting up from that and have the kind of game he did. So if you keep him upright, the Giants are going to have a chance right until the end. I know about their defense, and, and uh, I thought their defense was you know, one, one of the best, if not the best defense we, we faced last year are feeling uh, you know they're, they're at the same spot this year so it'll be it'll be a great a great test for us uh, it's going to be hostile we know that it's going to be a hard fall game as Coughlin likes to say it's going to be a knockdown drag out fight so we just prepare for that prepare to match their physical play and, and go in there and be ready to go key number two stop the run the 49ers are a court team quarterback by Alex Smith, who has been having a phenomenal run over the last year and a half. But you can't count on him always in a big spot. He's still not truly an elite quarterback. The real key for the 49ers is going to be Frank Gore and that rushing attack. So you're going to want they're going to want the ball in his hands, and the Giants are going to want to stop him to put all the pressure on Alex Smith. He's capable of beating them, but that's the guy you want to put the pressure on. That's where the Giants will have their better chance. Defensively, for us, you know, they can run the ball, they can they play action pass well, they get um, speed down the field and throw deep. Uh, so it's a great challenge for us, and you know, it's exciting for us to be able to find out what we match up against and how we're going to compare and. Um, Hopefully come out of there with a win. Everything's going to be fast, and it's going to be very fast, and we all got to stick together. And all three phases got to come together, man. We got to play hard. You know, like I said, it's going to be probably one of the toughest games we play this year, and you know, we're going to get all we got. That's all we can do. And the third key for the Giants, game-changing plays on special teams. We all know what happened in the 49ers game last year, what they were able to do to Kyle Williams, their dangerous return man. A couple of big fumbles is what turned that game. Now, they don't have to necessarily force fumbles. A game-changing play could be a big kick return from uh, David Wilson. Anything that tilts the field, this is going to be a knockdown, dragout game, as several Giants said. It's probably going to be a little bit of a defensive battle. Field position is going to be key, and special teams can help tilt that. Oh, it's going to be a, a physical four-quarter game. There's no doubt about it, and uh, you know, we're coming in with that mindset, and uh, that's going to be that way for four quarters. So there you go. Keep Eli upright, stop the run, game-changing plays on special teams, and maybe this five-hour flight to San Francisco and back for the Giants won't be as miserable as they seem to think that everybody else thinks it's going to be.